Hi, it's Veronica with Treetop Secret, and we are doing a math DIY preparing a perimeter kit. Before we jump into that, I want to mention that MLP is open. MLP is a math lesson plan membership for third, fourth, and fifth grade math teachers. And when you join, you have access to math lesson plan units for all the common core standards or the TEKS if you're a Texas teacher. And you have access to math stations, math extras, a math resource library, and I'd love for you to join. So go check it out over on the website, treetopsecret.com. Now let's dive into the perimeter kit. So when you put together any activity, you wanna start with the brain in mind. And there's a training on my website, the homepage, that you can uh, watch and learn about what I mean when I say starting with the brain in mind. So think about the senses. How can you stimulate multiple senses when you are teaching a particular skill? Because the more senses you stimulate, more information is stored in different areas of the brain that helps with recall and then the application so that students can be better problem solvers and critical thinkers. So begin with the brain in mind. All right, now to put together your kit, you need a box. Any box will do. I picked this up for, I don't remember exactly how much, it was between four and six bucks at Walmart. It's just a clear box. And you can go ahead and put maybe some die cut letters on the outside. Bulletin board letters would, letters would work. And you wanna just go ahead and label your box. And so let's go ahead, I'm gonna adjust the camera so if you'll bear with me. Okay, underneath the lid of the box, I have glued, hot glued a folder. And I, on the outside, put the formulas for perimeter, and I also on the inside included the worksheet that the students will use to do their measurements. Now, this is available inside of MLP, so if you want a time saver, join MLP. If you're not a member, that's okay. Just go ahead and create a table, put in different, different columns like model, the shape, the formula, the length, the width, the side, and then a place for the, for the students to show what the perimeter was for that particular model. So let me go ahead and set this off to the side. And what you include in your box is up to you, but I'm going to provide you with some ideas. Now, when you became a teacher, you were told you had to buy a million posters, right? <laughs> of course, I'm kidding, but that's what ends up happening usually. So posters come in all different kinds of sh shapes and sizes, and you want to add things that are inexpensive or that you already have on hand. And posters are usually one of those things. So the students can easily um, measure the perimeter, and these headers that they sell that you put up um, on the bulletin boards come in really unique links so that's fantastic if your students are just learning how to measure then you might want to get them a, give them a little head start by indicating which is the length and which is the width and of course bring out anything that's ginormous because it's fantastic for them to be able to see the contrast in the different perimeters of the things that they're measuring so I'm just showing you this it's a huge poster that's inside of MLP the the information for problem-solving tools and um, towels towels are fantastic because of course they come in all different shapes and you probably have a few I hope you do <laughs> so this is a beach towel of course but you can bring in some hand towels and other size towels one of the things I love to include is foam because which you, of course you can pick up at any craft shop and I include this it's cheap but it's also easy to cut and you can cut into all different kinds of shapes so here's one for example since it's perimeter it's very easy for the students to come in and measure exactly what that you know kind of freaky shape is it's easy for them to do Another thing that you can include in your perimeter kit is yarn because the students can easily come in. Of course, it's a super cheap. They can easily come in and create different shapes from the yarn. They just have to cut different lengths and create the shape and then measure to create their model. And along those lines, but with a little bit more structure is ribbon. And if you get it on sale, it's super cheap. Now for this, you can create the links yourselves, cut them up yourself, or you can have the students do it, but it allows them to have a little bit more structure as opposed to the yarn. And then of course, tape. Tape, because nowadays it comes in all kinds of beautiful colors and it's fairly inexpensive. And you know you can just make different shapes on your desk, a table in the classroom or the students' desks, and then it leaves little residue and it's easy to remove. So it's fantastic to be able to set that up as different models for perimeter. And then, um, of course, along those lines, super easy and you probably have on hand 
dry erase markers. Just add a couple of uh, paper towels or some, some cloths. Students can create the shapes, easily measure, and then put that in their worksheet, and then they're good to go. And another thing I'd like to use is these mats that come from pieces of artwork or photo fr or picture frames. Um, and so I like it because you have an inner perimeter and then you have the outer perimeter. So that's another fantastic idea. And since I mentioned you want to include different senses, it's kind of a challenge to include smell and taste. But when you include a food item, that's easy enough to do. And for perimeter, you can include things like pixie sticks, because with the pixie sticks, you can just create the shapes out of the sticks. Of course, you'll have the students do that. And you'll, of course, remind them that these are math tools, not math treats. And of course, you're a great teacher, so you'll give them a treat anyway um, if they follow the rules and do not eat because they're full of germs. So just have a little Ziploc as a reminder. A little sign would help. And another idea is um, Twizzlers because, of course, they're delicious, fairly inexpensive, and also because they're long, you can use them to create different shapes and get your perimeter model set up so that the students can measure. All right, so that kind of sums up the ideas that I have for you for the perimeter box. I want to know, let me go ahead and adjust the camera one more time. Okay, working on that, working on that. Okay, there we go. And so I want to know what your perimeter kit ends up looking like and what you included in it. So if you um, want to send me an email, I'm at vlopez at treetopsecret.com. If you're meeting me or seeing me here on Facebook or on Instagram, leave me a comment below. So fantastic. That wraps up another Math DIY. And go check out the other Math DIYs that I've set up over on my website. Again, that's treetopsecret.com. And I'd love for you to... Um, join MLP, so go check that out. All right, until the next DIY, see ya. Thanks. Bye-bye.